Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at the current energies for you in love. What do we need to know about the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with? And what can you expect next? As always, these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. So let's jump right into your reading for Aries. Spirit, angels, guides, what do we need to know? For Aries, what do we need to know for Aries? What are the current energies for Aries in love spirit? Current energies for Aries in love. Current energies for Six of coin, nine of wands, and temperance. Sagittarius energy. Well, Six of Coin and Temperance are both cards about balance, harmony. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Justice, Libra energy, and another card about balance. So I sense a common theme here for you, Aries. Either there's something going on right now for you in love where things are becoming balanced for you, where things are coming together after some time um in harmony or you are in a situation where this is needed in your connection balance slash harmony so we'll see what else we get when we clarify let's get some more energies out here nine of wands well nine of wands is a card about difficulty that you or whoever it is that you're dealing with have experienced and i say I mentioned that other person because these are the energies for you in love. So your energy could be here, your person's energy, a mix of both. Um, someone has been through a lot with the Nine of Wands and is very guarded or defensive or just not, it's not very easy to trust or let people in with the Nine of Wands. So there could have been something that happened in love generally for you where you feel this way, like you've been through battle and are still kind of picking up the pieces or maybe in the past you've been through this and then now that love is kind of balancing out for you, you're just not sure how vulnerable you can really be. Okay, can we get some more insight please for Aries? What are the energies for Aries regarding love spirit? Energies for Aries, please. When it comes to love. Pure seduction. You're being tempted to give in to your desires and love letters. So someone I feel has a desire, a wish, something they're drawn to, attracted to, and maybe they need to communicate this to you. Of course, feel free to flip the energy if it resonates more for you, Aries. But I feel like a message is on its way with love letter. What else do we need to know about the energies that Aries is has or will be experiencing when it comes to love? What are the energies surrounding Aries when it comes to love? Judgment call. Judgment calls we made using logic and reason. Someone's making a decision, um, using their logic to make this decision. We have deep regret at the bottom of the deck. So I find that very interesting. Let's get some romance angels out here. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Aries regarding these energies? What else do we need to know? Worth waiting for, attraction, yeah, and then unrequited love. So this has been happening for some time. Whatever's happening for you in love, it's been a buildup. I feel like you've waited for something to happen. Maybe you've manifested something, attracted something to you. But with unrequited love, I feel like someone is um, maybe fearful that they're not on the same page with someone. Maybe they are interested in someone that might not be interested in the same way in return. Maybe someone's fearful of rejection here. I see all of those energies. So let's see what we get when we clarify these. Let's start with the six of coin. Tell me about the six of coin for Aries. Why is the six of coin here for Aries? The moon, Pisces energy, okay. 
something unknown, something hidden, something confusing, doubt. Tell me about the six of coin. Three of wands, there's that waiting energy again and strength, Leo energy. Well, I know that for my collective, there's something going on between Aries and Leos. But the hangman is here. So I feel like what's happening here is like um, when I see all these energies together, it's almost like someone's waiting for confirmation or waiting for clarity about balancing something out, about someone carrying the same way. Maybe you're dealing with someone where you just met them or you just started dating them and you're not sure where you stand with them. Maybe you have a lot of feelings for someone, but they have not returned those feelings or can't return those feelings. Maybe because you're not together anymore or there's a distance between you, but you're wondering if those feelings are mutual. I see a lot of ways you can interpret this. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo. I feel like someone's not making a move until this happens. Yeah, Ace of Swords, clarity. Clarity is needed here. Can I get one more for the six of, of coin? What do we need to know about the six of coin? The six of swords. Yeah, I feel like there could have been a departure that happened and now someone's questioning. Yeah, there's judgment and the three of swords. Okay, let's keep going so I can get a better picture of what's happening here. Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Page of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so interesting. I feel like, yeah, there's the Fool. I feel like there's something new happening for you in Love Aries. Uh, maybe someone's taking the initiative to reach out here with the Page of Wands. And I feel like this would make you very happy. But at the same time, you are wary or at least have a boundary to protect yourself. Or maybe you don't trust someone's intentions or you don't trust that this could be a good thing yeah there's the four of wands what's this page of swords yeah i feel like someone's going to be talking to you or reaching out here and bottom of the deck we have the lovers gemini energy so yeah i get the sense that this is something that you want but aren't sure about for whatever reason um maybe you question it maybe it's too good to be true maybe you're just wondering what the catch is tell me about temperance why is temperance here? King of coin, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is temperance here? And it's interesting because in this deck, ah, I just dropped all these. In this deck, it kind of looks like he's giving a coin. Okay, I'm just going to take the ones that like flipped up here. There's the emperor, Aries energy, your energy here. And then the five of pentacles. So what I see all of this is almost like something has been worked on or addressed here. Let me put these back. I feel like this, this is all leading up to a new beginning, Aries. And I feel it's because someone's willing to um, resolve an issue here. Five of coin. Yeah, five of wands just fell out. So there's a conflict here. Maybe you ended things with someone in the past. Maybe there's conflict in an existing connection. Maybe you had um, abandonment issues or fears of abandonment and rejection. And it kind of closed you off to new love or new opportunities in love. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? For Aries. Yeah, the star. Aquarius energy. Beautiful energy. There's a ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So... Um, the star is all about hope, faith. I feel like something you've been hoping for, waiting for, maybe a healing is taking place that will lead to something new with the fool. Um, and it has taken some time with temperance. Also, if you're dealing with a uh, king of pentacles like energy, they tend to take their time. They don't really take risks. All they care about is this ten of pentacles or security, stability, whatever this ten of pentacles represents. I, I feel like whoever this is that's coming in, I still don't have clarity about whether they're an ex or someone completely new um, because I feel like it could go either way here. This could be for a reading for an Aries who is single but hasn't really been able to let love in completely. Maybe they haven't been putting themselves out there enough because of this nine of wands, because of the difficulty in the past. Maybe they feel like they're like on the outside looking in at what love could be. 
Um, but I feel like someone is coming in. And if it's this Emperor and King of Pentacles energy, it's someone serious. Aries, this is not someone that plays around here. Um, this energy is of someone that is a, a doer. They might take their time doing things. This could be somebody older than you as well. Some of you, this is a um, work, like an uh, it's an employee of, of some, like a leader or a supervisor. Um, but this is what's coming in. I feel like, yeah, there's the Ace of Cups. When I just lifted the deck, this is what's the card that was like at the bottom there. There's no opportunities for new love. And I feel like this is something you've wanted. Um, but with unrequited love, I don't know. I'm getting almost like maybe you never thought this person cared about you in this way. Maybe you don't feel the same way that this person does right away. Maybe you need time to build that connection. Maybe you need to keep an open mind. Maybe this is someone that you need to kind of be open-minded about maybe they're not your type or maybe they are older or something um that's what i get so far but let's dive into this person's energy to clarify and make sure that that's that we're on the right path there i'm gonna use a whole different deck tell me about this person that aries is has or will be dealing with spirit the person that aries is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this energy what do we need to know about this person's energy that aries is has or we'll be dealing with what do we need to know about this person what do we need to know move these to the side so we can actually see what, what's going on what do we need to know about this person's energy that aries is has or we'll be dealing with what do we need to know about this person's energy okay let's see aries that we have page of cups knight of wow okay knight of cups and queen of swords okay what you need to know is this person has something to say ace of wands at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a water sign an air sign does not have to be i don't really am not picking that up very strongly what i'm picking up here is that this person has feelings for you very clear that they have feelings for you here now i don't know if this is an apology from the heart or a heartfelt message um whatever it is is an honest message queen of swords Tell me about this Page of Cups, Knight of Cups energy. What do we need to know about this Page of Cups, Knight of Cups energy? Very genuine energy here with the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. They tend to be kind of in touch with their emotions. Tell me about the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's been fear here. Um, fear of resistance. Fear of you not being interested three of cups interesting and then the five of swords i think there's been some sort of like conflict or obstacle here i don't know if this is with you or with someone else whoever this is whoever is you're dealing with i don't know if they've had conflict with you specifically or if they're thinking about another type of conflict in the form of another person three of cups so for example this could be that you've been dating someone and this person has never been able to approach you because you haven't been single that's one example or another example is like maybe a family member doesn't approve or of what they the person they want to be with which is you there's many ways that you can interpret this but that's what i'm getting um, as examples right now i feel like this person has been scared to come forward um, I think they see you as a seven of wands, you know, someone that's like not interested, not even looking their way. Some of you might just be busy, like you're just too busy for love. Or maybe you got out of a relationship recently and you've just been hanging out with your friends, you know, hanging out with friends, coworkers, happy hours, but you keep a distance. And for some reason, this person, they see it as kind of a conflict okay i just got the five of wands again so yeah there's something here either they have to compete for your attention or there's a conflict that you might have that they want to address king of wands eight of wands they definitely want to talk about it um some of you i'm picking up that this is someone that you had conflict with in the past and they haven't approached you because of this conflict it's still kind of like something they think about oh my god if i could just yeah there's a star aquarius energy um, I feel like this person, um, if this is a conflict with you, they want to heal it. If this is something where they're scared, it's it's almost like they're, they have hope, so they're going to go for it. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is very hard to approach. They usually have healthy boundaries, and this is kind of how I see you, Aries. I see you kind of like worried about who you're letting into your circle. Um, you've been burned in the past. I'm speaking to an Aries where you've had 
difficulties with trust now because of the past. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The King of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, I think you're recognizing your value. I also feel like this person sees you, values you. They put you on a high pedestal. And they know they have to be honest and clear with you. They know they cannot BS you. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's that Five of Swords again. I want this one too. And the Page of Wands. So I feel like this person, Ten of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck with Justice. I feel like, yeah, and there's the Seven of Swords. I feel like this person has been secretly um, thinking about this for some time. I think this is someone that, you know, whatever interaction you have with them, they like it or they think about it. Um, they want a future. Ten of Pentacles keeps showing up. And, and, you know, they're like, let me just start off small with the Page of Wands. But I think that they're thinking of what you offer here with the Empress. And it's interesting because nowhere in here do I get clarity about, oh, yeah, this was an ex that hurt you. I don't see that in the cards. I see that they could apologize for whatever they've done. But more than anything, I get someone that is almost like focused on this justice energy on talking to you about this or sharing their feelings after they haven't shared it for some time. And, you know, I'm trying to keep this in mind that this person could have regrets because deep regret they show up here at the bottom of the deck. Wait. Can I get some energies for this person's thoughts, feelings towards Aries? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Aries? What do we need to know, Spirit? What are they thinking and feeling when it comes to Aries? You matter to me and I'm ready to commit. Okay. Again, I don't get any, any energy here of someone that's like, I screwed up. You know, I'll be messaging you at the bottom of the deck. Definitely. This is someone that's going to reach out. So Aries, I, I, I still feel this is very open ended. Some of you, this is someone new, completely new coming in. And others of you, this is someone that you might have had a past with. But I feel like they're just going to tell you, hey, I have feelings for you. And I want to take those feelings somewhere. Um, and I feel like you've been waiting for this. Like you, you've either been waiting for this person to return or you've been waiting for this type of person to show up in your life. And it's going to begin with a message of some sort. So where's all of this headed in the near future? Let's get some insight. I find it fascinating that this person, I feel like they're not very easy to, um, the person that you're dealing with, I don't think that they're very easy to like nail down their energy. I feel like they're very focused. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. That's a very clear energy to me. But at the same time, it's like there's a distance between you where I, I, I don't know. It's like they don't want to really like reveal everything all at once. Where is all of this headed for Aries? Where is all of this headed? All of this. What can Aries expect in the near future? What can Aries expect in the near future? <clears throat> the high priestess exactly i feel like um there's some sort of like hidden energy um it's like this person i don't know it's like you can't tap into them very well i might have to extend this to get some insight into this person um but i have the high priestess the ten of wands and the three of cups bottom of the deck the king of swords okay so i feel like there's some sort of secret that someone's held back for a while with the ten of wands they've been carrying this for a while now, I don't know what this Three of Cups is about. It could be, because um, the Three of Cups could be a card about coming together, reuniting. Uh, so let's see. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Sometimes it could be um, indicated, in, it can indicate another person. Tell me about this Three of Cups. So I don't know if a, a person got in the way here, or if they're just, they've been wanting to connect with you and it just hasn't happened. But they've held on to this idea for a while. Tell me about the Three of Cups. The Lovers. Okay, yeah. Gemini energy here. Tell me about the Three of Cups. This could be a soulmate that you're re reuniting with or connecting with. Maybe they're from a past life or maybe they're from your distant past. But I feel like for some of you still, 
this is a whole new person um, coming in. Tell me about the Three of Cups that, that really just wants a connection with you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. And then the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's attraction. There is um, an, a desire here, but it, there's also emotion. I feel like this person, they value you. They, you matter to me. Yeah, that's, that's true. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the High Priestess. Tell me about the Ten of Wands and the High Priestess. The Four of Cups. Okay, this is way too much, but I'm just going to take it. Four of Swords, Four of Cups. So I feel like no action because they're probably fearful of rejection. Okay, there's that Five of Wands again. Knight of Coin, okay. Capricorn energy with the devil and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like there's been some changes in this person's life that you don't know about. Whoever this is, whether they're new or they're from the, the past. Maybe they've had difficulties in their life and you've had difficulties in your life, Aries. But it's been like, it's not together. It's been like either of you, it's like both of you have had your own difficulties that you've dealt with. Um, but those difficulties have kept you from running into each other. I feel like something has ended here with the Ten of Swords for this particular person. Um, maybe they've been betrayed in the past. Maybe this connection ended a long time ago. Maybe they ended a career. Uh, maybe they're moving. Something, some sort of change. I'm getting change from this card rather than difficult ending. But I feel like this is allowing someone to have another opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and again, with the devil, I'm going to, I'm going to have to extend this because I feel like we, there's so much here that we have to uncover. I feel like with the devil, it's almost like there was some sort of chain or attachment or restriction that this person had to work, break free from, you know, the 10 of swords and the devil here. And this is allowing them to have some sort of new opportunity or rebuild. I got that word rebuild. Um, this is allowing them to come to you. That's all that really matters here is that whatever change is happening in this person's life, I don't think you know about it with the high priestess. I think this person has been carrying a heavy load, a lot of obligations, responsibilities on their own, and they haven't really been able to take action for of sorts. Maybe they've just been healing on their own. Maybe they've been taking care of things. And, you know, now that they are done with this, or at least this is wrapping up. I feel like now they're going to be messaging you or focusing on you. And again, I feel like I'm speaking to two groups of Aries here. Some of you, this is someone from the past, um, a past soulmate or a past life connection, you know, and others of you, this is someone new coming in after they've wrapped up things in their life. Um, or maybe after you've wrapped up things in your life, I really am getting the sense that some of you work with this person, um, or like see each other uh, or friends of friends, um, for them to develop an interest in you from afar. Cause I feel like no matter who this is, whether this is someone from the past or someone new, they've kept tabs on you in some way, or are able to view you in some way, see you in some way through social media, in person, hear of you from friends of friends, et cetera, et cetera. There's a, there's a, there's something that keeps this person interested in you or attached to you or attracted to you in some way but it's like a physical thing thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did leave me a comment let me know i'd love to hear from you subscribe if you haven't already and like the video if you enjoy how i read or if you just enjoy the reading it really helps me out a lot it's a free way of supporting what i do here and it's just awesome that anybody takes the time out of their day to do that and um, show their support that way. So thank you in advance and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.